I'm Dr. Barbara Parolini. Um, I work in, uh, in Italy and uh, I am mainly a vitreoretinal retinal surgeon, uh, but I also perform cataract surgery as well. Um, my main topic and field of interest are subretinal surgery, um, difficult cases of um, high myopia and uh, eye reconstruction after trauma. As vitreoretinal retinal surgeon, we have a constant need of a perfect view during surgery. And I have been using the Leica microscope for many years and uh, more recently the Proveo 8. Certainly the benefit of the good depth of focus removes the need of constant refocusing. Uh, the red reflex is very useful for me because I, uh, I, I switch from posterior segment to anterior segment in combined surgery. We might think that we can operate without an intraoperative CT because we, we see what we do. But having a, a confirmation at every step of uh, what we actually do at a tissue level is a great benefit. I think with intraoperative OCT, we will face the same benefit that we received with the diagnostic OCT. And we discover the benefit the more we use it. I can list many examples in which the intraoperative OCT not only offer a confirmation of the surgical maneuver, but help me to improve surgery and to change my plan intraoperatively based on the observation of the OCT scan itself. For example, a case of subretinal surgery in which the intraoperative OCT highlighted the presence of a bubble of PFCL that I had completely overlooked because the media were not so transparent and the bubble was very small but in a crucial location very close to the fovea. A case in which I was treating a relapse of retinal detachment with a bad PVR at the end of surgery, the retina was edematous and I could not determine with certainty whether there was uh, subretinal fluid. And in the end, I had to decide uh, whether to stop at that point or to perform a, a peripheral retinotomy and uh, the confirmation with OCT was able to guide me in the surgical plan.